Uh, 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 uh. Hold very still, Miklaw. Uh, Crank's aim is much improved, but uh, still leaves something up to chance. Yes, sir. Uh... All right, Crank. Ready? Aim. Oh. Hmm. We have a visitor. At ease. McClaw, you may go. <laughs> I see no night song. Surely you wouldn't have entered my tower without the night song in hand, hmm? Surely my worthless apprentice wouldn't have allowed you to waste my time. Huh. Fascinating. You've been to Shah's temple, haven't you? To the Shadowfell? Hmm. I can take my answers from your corpse if you prefer. A surprising number of people are more forthcoming dead than alive. Uh, then again, who will clean the mangled mess from my floor? So I'll ask again. The Night Song. Where is it? And the Night Song? Speak true now, for I detest a liar. <sighs> Alas, I've paid for a good deal of very privileged information. Now I await the results of the generous contract I've commissioned. Answer now, or see what happens when fools misuse my valuable time. You'll have more gratitude than you know how to count once the night song is in my hands. Do you have it or not? And you must have an answer to my request. If you want to keep your head, of course. <laughs> uh, the night song. Do you have it or not? She? Then you do know her. You've been to Shah's temple. To the Shadowfell, you've looked upon the Night Song's face. Tell me, and choose your next words carefully. Where is she now? She? Then you do know her. You've been to Shah's temple. To the Shadowfell, you've looked upon the Night Song's face. Tell me, and choose your next words carefully. Where is she now? <laughs> uh, explain yourself. I'm growing tired of this repartee, my friend. Let us cut to the chase. I'm growing tired of this repartee, my friend. Let us cut to the chase. Beautiful, isn't it? Worth more than your life, too. I bought it from a Kalashite warlock. There's very little of his soul left to him. Hmm. It can bind a celestial to the wearer's service with a snap of the fingers. 
And this? This can keep her in place. Forever. It didn't work out for poor Catherick, did it? He was a fool. A desperate mercenary who hoard out his soul to whichever god flattered him. <laughs> I serve no god, but that which stares back at me in the mirror. The night song will be put to a grand purpose, equalizing man and god. Whoever helps me attain that which I seek will be greatly rewarded. Of course not. But perhaps, after enough lifetimes, I might make a start of it. I intend to achieve greatness. And I intend to do it for a long, long, long time. Clever doesn't begin to describe it. What I seek is the greatest ambition possible. To defy the ultimate limitation. Transcend the fate that awaits us all. When I succeed, I may look favorably upon you. If you are a friend along the way, that is. And me, mine. Mark my words. The night song is mine. With or without your help, she will ascend to her grand fate here, in this tower. You can get very rich along the way, or let someone else take what is rightfully yours. Choose wisely. We shall see, won't we? Do as I say, and you will be rewarded beyond imagination. Fail, and you give up the prize to the next motivated mercenary to encounter my contract. The choice is yours, but make no mistake, I always get what I want. You have a job to do, so do it, quickly. A private word would be nice. So Leroa can covet Dame Aelin. He'll live to regret that once we inform her. Let us find Aelin and extend Leroakin's invitation. It has been too long since I have seen a wizard cry. If that wizard wants Dame Aelin so bad, I say we give him exactly what he's asked for. I'd love nothing more than to see her grind that wretch into bone dust. We should tell Dame Aelin of Laroican's intentions. I look forward to helping her pound this whelp's skull to grit. Oh, that guy makes my skin crawl. So, what's the plan? Do we chase him out of town or skip straight to skull cracking? All right, all right, fair enough. But, oh, can I watch? I'm not bloodthirsty. I'm dangerous creep thirsty. This guy is terrible news. I say we stop him before he hurts anyone. Better yet, let Dame Aelin do it. She deserves to look him in the eye before she ends him.
Says you. Me? I'd love nothing more than to throat slam that creep. Better yet, let Dame Aelin do it. She deserves to look him in the eye before she ends him. If that charlatan Laroican thinks he can best Dame Aelin, he's even more clueless than I believed. We should inform her of his delusions. No doubt she'll have great fun in dispelling them. We should tell Aelin that Laroican is hunting her. She has a right to know. Also, she'll want to cave his skull in, and honestly, I would not mind seeing that. Left her there? Then go retrieve her, you imbecile! Or it will cost you a world of riches so vast you cannot even comprehend the loss. You can go now! Before I lose my temper! I can see you're in no place to have a civilized conversation. Return when an iota of sense has returned to you. That was more than he strictly needed to know. You're not intending to surrender her over to him, are you? You better not be planning on giving her up. <sighs> not after everything she's been through. Good. Then you'll have no trouble fulfilling the contract to bring the night song here. Reconsider. Just smile and nod. We'll decide at our own leisure, not his. Good. I was growing scared for you. The last person who disappointed me is suffering for it still. Good. I was growing scared for you. The last person who disappointed me is suffering for it still. Do not return without my prize. Do you hear me? Good day. Reconsider. Dame Aelin is going to want to kick this guy's ass herself, believe me. You aren't the only one who knows what's on offer for the Night Song's retrieval. Consider carefully whether you'd like to see your fortune in someone else's hands. Someone who might slip into your camp at any moment. Or hurry you through street and inn until you're run ragged and surrender. The choice is yours. Fortune? Or imminent death? I know you'll choose wisely. Reconsider. We can't do that. Not after the lengths I already went through with her. Pity. Then again, perhaps word of your agonizing death will draw your little friend to me. Abadons! Imperitum!
need tending. What in the hell's happened here? The Night Song was a person, yet he still planned to harvest her life. Oh, I shouldn't be surprised. Leroican was a cruel and vicious man. Hardly. It doesn't take a great wizard to see that both men deserve to die. In fact, you've done me a favor. Leroican was a cruel and vicious man. You don't understand. I worked my entire life to become Leroican's apprentice, and you've ruined it! I can't let you get away with this! You just want Ramazith's tower for yourself, don't you? No! I refuse to bow to another! It's come to this, has it? Fine! I will avenge my master! Come to bask in the glow of the Moon Maiden's sword? Be most welcome. <sighs> I am not surprised. You have a great talent for tearing down Dame Aelin's enemies. Thank you, my friend. From the bottom of my heart. I am free from my bonds, but not my duty. The dead three are risen. The dead, too, remain. You must face them. I will help. Keeping very well, I hope? Look after my angel, of course. She's been through more than I can bear to think about. A hundred years in the Shadowfell. A hundred years being murdered by Sharans over and over. It fills me with a rage I can hardly contain. She's a formidable woman, my Aelin. But no one could escape such horrors unscathed. She's in my hands now, and I intend to help her through whatever's to come. We'll both of us stand by you when the time comes to put down the horror that threatens this city. We are your allies. For life. I mourn the man I knew. He was wonderful. He raised me to serve Salune as my mother, rest her soul, had wished. He was everything to me, all my life. When an emissary of Salune came to our little town, we were elated. Dame Aelin. Daughter of the Moon Maiden herself. This was different. It was like I could see my fate in her eyes. Lucky for me, she felt the same way. But my father was skeptical. Aelin is immortal, after all. 
I understand it's strange. There's an imbalance between us, certainly. But I suppose loving Aelin felt the same as loving myself. It was natural. Then... And this is where I still need answers. I died. I'm not sure how or why, but all was black, black, black. Next I knew I was being jolted awake. I smelled musty air, I saw shadows. And then my father's face. So changed. So hideously warped. He told me we'd be together now. Said Aelin was dead. I couldn't speak. Could only run. I found last light within the shadows. Made a shelter there. Prayed my father wouldn't find me. By the time Jahira came, I'd pieced together just enough to know I'd been dead a hundred years. That my father was the source of the horrors that plagued my home. He's gone now. But I suppose the man I knew died when I died. The man he became... That wasn't the father I knew. The one I loved so very much. Ah, ally mine. We are reunited once more. I was just regaling sweet Isabel with tales of our prowess. Very impressive. Thank you for helping, Aelin. That wizard sounded absolutely dastardly. He did, and it came. Now, my friend, bask in your victory. I will do the same. My darling, we must inform our friend of our news. There are always more bastards behind bastards. But we will run through them all, each by each. Enjoy the spoils of your victory. Spin memories of Laroican's death in your mind like silk floss. My darling, we must inform our friend of our news. I always do, with darling Isabel by my side. Enjoy the spoils of your victory. Spin memories of Laroican's death in your mind like silk floss. My darling, we must inform our friend of our news. Indeed. I've scouted a Salunite enclave outside the city. They faced the Absolute's armies and come out battered and bruised. Aelin and I will go to them, provide what help we can. But fear not. When the time comes for you to face the foe of foes, Isabel and I will stand by your side. We wouldn't miss it. Not for anything. Go well, friend. We will see you soon. And with our great powers combined, this city will be saved.